Hello, Nyoko here, and today I'm here for a Valentine's special where I draw dog and rompa ships. I am going to start this video for a quick disclaimer to respect people's ships in the comments and in this video. I know the dog and rompa fandom has a habit of being very, very toxic when it comes to shipping, but please be civil. Personally, I'm a multi shipper. As long as the ship is legal, I'm pretty sure I'm like, yeah, that could work. And I find most ship art pretty cute, despite the ship. Unless it's something like Mukuro and Junko. Because, you know, that's gross. But, you know. <laughs> Please just be civil. This is all in good fun. I'm just drawing cute art. That being said, on the day of posting this, it is two days before Valentine's Day. So, happy early Valentine's Day. Are you guys doing anything? Let me know in the comments. I'm personally just going to be hanging out and eating chocolate. Which, in my defense, is probably all you should be doing if your area is pretty pretty bad with COVID and stuff. You know, just just hang out, just chill. Uh, sometimes you might not even want to hang out if there's the potential of, you know, one of you might be sick. But, you know, just be chill this year. And as for the ships in this video... Uh, this first ship that I'm drawing is actually the second drawing I did, but this first ship is Sakura and Aoi. Uh, you know, just Hina. <laughs> uh, it feels so weird saying Aoi instead of Hina. Anyway, so I started with this ship because for two of my ships, I basically wrote down a bunch of ships that I like. The more tame ones that I thought less people would argue with. <laughs> and I put them on a randomizer spinning thing, like a spin the wheel app, and I just spun the wheel, and those are the ships I'm drawing this video. <laughs> uh, except for one ship, and I'll talk about that when I get to it. But anyway, Sakura and Hina. I think they had a very cute relationships in the games. Um, I won't say any spoilers for the games, by the way. Um, I'm not gonna be like, oh yes, this person died, this person died, and that's really tragic. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, they were cute, <laughs> basically. So, I love their friendship, and I can see it being a relationship, but also I'm cool if you just see it as a friendship, but I think it's very cute. Um, I love how they hung out, and I love how they had sleepovers. <laughs> I think it's very cute. <laughs> I also drew them in the strawberry dresses that was going around, like, I don't know, a year ago. Probably wasn't a year ago, but, you know, it was a really long time ago. But I never actually did that trend, so I just threw them in the strawberry dresses. Because people keep forgetting that Sakura is very feminine, despite the fact that she is very buff. <laughs> you know? And also, when I draw in general, I tend to listen to my Spotify playlist, which is just a bunch of songs mashed up, no genre. But for this one, I wanted to find some cute girls-loving videos. <laughs> You know, just girls love, you know, got got to boost that up. So I ended up listening to a playlist on YouTube called Songs that, for When You're Feeling Very Lesbian. <laughs> and let me just say, that playlist is awesome. <laughs> uh, I think that it had very nice songs. It put me in a very nice mood to draw this drawing. Love listening to um, <laughs> Haley Kikyo and things like that. Uh, it put me in a very happy mood while drawing these cute girls. <laughs> uh, so when I was drawing this drawing, um, I realized I haven't been talking about the drawing much, but basically they're very cute, and when I was drawing this drawing, I knew I wanted Sakura to be holding Hina in some way because Sakura's strong and I love her. <laughs> At first when I was drawing this, I was debating if I should only put Sakura in a strawberry dress and put Hina in like a like a tux or something, I don't know. But I decided on putting them both in the strawberry dress, despite the fact that Hina doesn't really dress very girly. She dresses pretty tomboyish. Like, I know she wears, like, kind of booty shorts looking stuff, but she dresses very tomboyish for the standards of Danganronpa girls. She doesn't wear a skirt. <laughs> but I ended up giving them both the strawberry dress. I just ended up giving Hina the black one and giving Sakura the pink one. Because she's Sakura, and, you know... <laughs> Cherry blossoms. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really like how this drawing turned out. I think it's very cute. Um, <laughs> I was a little confused about what to do for Hina's 
uh, feet area. I wasn't sure what shoes to give her or what style. I think they turned out uh, okay. <laughs> uh, and in the end, I think I ended up with a very cute picture of very cute girls that are very cute together. Can I say very cute more? <laughs> But yeah, I love their friendship and relationship in the games, just in general. I love that they have tea, I love that they had sleepovers, I love how, like, defend not defensive, I love how supportive Hina is of Sakura when certain stuff happens. I think that they just have a very nice relationship, and I think the ship is very cute. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think of this ship? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Also, for the backgrounds in, like, all of these pictures, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> Probably should have planned that out better. But, you know, uh, I still think they look nice. <laughs> in the end, I think the only things that I would change about this picture is that I would change the pose a bit, maybe, to show off more of Sakura in the dress and show off more of Sakura's muscles. I didn't really draw her muscles much, and I kind of regret that because I love her and I kind of muscled her down. It, it's hard to draw muscles, okay? <laughs> also, unrelated, but what did you guys think of the fact that Sakura's nickname was Ogre? Because I personally didn't really like that, and I thought it was kind of offensive. It, it, don't call her an ogre. She's fine. She's beautiful. <laughs> also, unrelated, but some of the girls in Danganronpa had, like, the best talents that were, like, awesome. Like, you know, martial artists, swordswoman, things like that. You know, just strong girls, good girls, and dog and rampa. And that's our first ship done. What do you guys think of the drawing? What do you guys think of the ship? Do you like it? Did it go to the standards of what you think of when you think of this ship? <laughs> and moving on to the next ship, this is actually the ship that I mentioned wasn't ch chosen by spinning a wheel. This was chosen because I asked my bestie um, for some ships that she wanted to include because Valentine's Day is actually her birthday. <laughs> so I asked her for what ship to include, and she said either Komahina or Sayoma. So I flipped a coin, and I got Komahina. Because <laughs> I knew that I didn't really want it. I kind of knew that the smallest amount of ships I wanted in this video were free. So I kind of didn't want two of them to be her requests. But either way, Komahina is pretty cool, too. Uh, it kind of blew up. Uh, I agree that it's a little everywhere. <laughs> but also, Komahina's great. <laughs> I love that canonically in the Japanese version, I'm pretty sure Nagito says that he's in love with Hajime, even though it's like, I am in love with the hope that is inside of you. I don't know, seems, seems kind of sus, bro. Th think, think you love him. <laughs> Either way, uh, this ship, amazing. It's a little crazy, but I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, love their dynamic. Uh, they teased us with having Komahina in the anime, and t t t they, didn't, they didn't really talk, except for, you know, that one thing with, you know, towards the end, but I'm not going to mention that. <laughs> uh, as for this drawing, um, this is the first drawing I did. Probably could have saved it for later and made it a little better because I ended up thinking I was doing better drawings as I was going on, but... Uh, I decided that each of these drawings will have a theme, and this theme uh, was that 10th anniversary outfit that was going around because everyone was drawing it, and I never ended up drawing it, and I still wanted to draw it, and I love how they look in it. Um, I probably should have done a better pose where you could see their outfits better, but I did. The, the main thing I wanted to include was Nagito's ponytail because I'm here for it. I live for it. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, as for their dynamic in the games, uh, Hajime kind of hates him. <laughs> but you know, uh, if one character hates another one, perfect ship material. <laughs> but yeah, they have cute moments, they have interesting moments, they have, you know, just moments in general. There's the whole, you know, I'm in, I'm in love with the hope that lives inside of you thing. <laughs> uh, Chiquita. If you hear weird noises in this recording, my dog is sleeping and snoring near me. <laughs> those are what those noises are. Um, anyway, 
Um, when I was drawing this video, uh, editing the drawing portion was pretty annoying because I was watching Ink Master at the time. <laughs> so I kept pausing every time they were showing, like, the actual tattoos. So there was a lot of, uh, pauses I needed to cut out, and that was kind of annoying. <laughs> but, you know, uh, lesson learned. Probably shouldn't draw while watching stuff. Maybe shouldn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, drawing the ship was really fun, mostly because I liked the ship. Um, Nagito is one of my favorite characters. He's definitely in my top five. And no, I'm not an edgy 12-year-old. I'm 20, and I just find his character interesting. I love his motivations between, um, behind what he does. I love his free time events. I just love Nagito as a character in general. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't just love him to be edgy. <laughs> and Hajime is my favorite protagonist of any of the games, so that was fun. <laughs> Uh, I just, you know, I think it was very cute, and I think that their ship is very nice, and, you know, I hope you like this, Giselle, <laughs> since, you know, it's for you, I hope you ended up liking what I drew, uh, sorry about the hands, <laughs> I struggled a bit with those, also, I wanted to include the rose that Hajime was holding in the official 10th anniversary art, so I kind of just just put it on his other hand that's wrapped around uh, Kameda. And it is, is, it's okay. <laughs> uh, all in all, I definitely could have redrawn this to be better, but I think it's still pretty cute. I think it, you know, emulates what I was going for. I was trying to make it so that they were, like, dancing. Like, slow dancing type that you do during, like, a prom. <laughs> By the way, that official art... Uh, I love that official art in general. A few of my favorites got robbed. Like, Ibuki's way in the back. You can't even, like, see her. It's, it's, it's a pain. It's Ibuki, my baby. <laughs> I wanted to see more of you. <laughs> uh, and also, you know, just, you can barely see Toko, too. And it's just like, oh. But yeah, a lot of the characters in that drawing look very, very nice. Like, I like Samugi, who is my boyfriend's favorite at the moment. Um, he hasn't finished V Free yet, um, in general, but so far, v Sumugi is his favorite, so is Ganta. <laughs> uh, it's very nice that I can see other people getting into Danganronpa. I know a lot of big-time, um, YouTubers are playing it recently, including Game Grumps, who were on the first game, and I'm very behind in their playthrough, but I'm loving it a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm basically only on, like, the end of Chapter 1 on their playthrough. <laughs> I hope that they end up playing the other games, too. Um, I would love for them to get to Super Danganronpa 2, because I would love for them to meet Nagito. <laughs> uh. But yeah, in general, a little distracted while drawing this. Still think it turned out pretty cute. Hope you like it. <laughs> what do you guys think of this ship? <laughs> uh. I also am a fan of Hajime and Chiaki. I think that's very cute. Um, also down for some Hajime Chiaki uh, Nagito poly shipping. Think that's cute too. Um, like I said, I'm a multi shipper. I'm okay with a ton of ships. <laughs> if you agree or disagree with any of the ships in this in this um, video, just be civil about it. <laughs> and even if you don't like the ship, let me know if you like the drawing. <laughs> uh, I think I ended up liking all three of the drawings I did in this video, and I'm pretty happy with that. This video is a very fun video to do because it was just drawing things that I like doing. Like, Danganronpa is a thing that I love. I've loved since, like, high school. Um, for, like, I don't know, like, six, six years ago, maybe. That's when I got into Danganronpa. Anyway, I, I just love it. Danganronpa got me into drawing a lot more than I used to more consistently. And it's just very special to me. <laughs> Heck, based on Danganronpa, I even started my first comic as like a, as like a practice comic. I'm doing a fangin comic inspired by Danganronpa of my own cast, which I debated making a video drawing ships for that, but I think I don't have a big enough audience on YouTube to actually, you know, pull off doing that. Maybe next year. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the next ship. <laughs> what did you guys think of the Komahina drawing? Did you like it? <laughs> uh... Um, so far, I think I did pretty well with the drawings in this video. And moving on to the next one. <laughs>
So back to the Wheel of Fate, it has decided that the last drawing for this video will be Sonia and Gundam. <laughs> so it's another um, Danganronpa 2 vi um, ship. I personally love this ship. Looking back at this video, I realized I had one from the first game and two from the second game. And um, I maybe should have done one from the third game. I also realized that the first one was two girls, two boys, and now this is a straight ship. So maybe I should have done like Maki and Kaito. But anyway, the wheel decided Sonya and Gundam, and I love this ship, and I think it's adorable, and <laughs> I, I'm i very happy with this. Um, I will say that when I was drawing this, it was very late at night, and I was pretty tired. <laughs> so that was a bit of a struggle. Um, I'm also using their anime um, designs as a reference. I personally like Gundam's hair in the games more, but I'm using the anime as a reference because the outfits that I'm putting them in are the Halloween special little drawing thing that was in the one of the EDs, I think, for the anime. Because I think it's very cute, and I just want to do that. I was debating what to do for them for a while, but I think this turned out very nice. <laughs> I also tacked on Gundam's hamsters, but uh, admittedly, I wasn't really looking at a reference. So they might not look the best, but I still think they're pretty cute. Also, don't ask me which ones they are, because I do not remember their names. <laughs> Uh, that being said, as for this ship, I love it. <laughs> uh, I love how it's just Sonya is so pretty and such like, you know, an actual princess. And Gundam is just, he's Gundam. <laughs> he is the dark overlord of ice and things like that. And just, you know, just when he's like talking all about his like dark magic and things like that. And Sonya's like, are there roller coasters in hell? And he's like, yes, but they require a, a virgin's blood as, as the entry fee. And he's like, I shall use your blood as sacrifice. And she's like, oh, no, oh dear, it appears that you cannot use my blood, sadly. It's like, oh boy, Sonya. <laughs> but like, in general, they have a very nice dynamic. I'm sorry, Kazuichi. I'm also okay with the Sonya Kazuichi or the Kazuichi Gundam or all three of them. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kazuichi, that you're left out, but, you know, it's very cute. Um, I love Sonya and Gundam together. I think they're very cute. Um, I love their dynamic. I love how cute they are. Can I say that anymore? <laughs> uh, spooky babes. <laughs> uh... Sonia, it's it's just very obvious that Sonia likes Gundam. You can't you can't deny that. You can't deny that they like each other. I love Gundam's blushing sprite. I think it's adorable. And you know, just I love how Sonia gets like Gundam's hamsters in one sprite. I think that's very cute. <laughs> also for this drawing, I threw on the flat colors really blobbly so I can go back to them really quickly because I realized that some of the other drawings I was struggling a bit with the color scheme. Because some of the colors need to be adjusted and stuff because color picking is a little hard on smaller sprites. But, you know, so that that's what I was doing if you were confused about that weird blob. <laughs> uh, in the end, I think I really like how this drawing turned out even though I was pretty tired and kind of falling asleep during it. <laughs> uh, I was planning on maybe doing four ships, but I told myself that I'd stop myself at whatever number of um, drawings I had done by Wednesday before I had to upload because I wanted to make sure I had all the drawings done before the end of Wednesday so I could actually edit and record the audio to have this up by Friday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in the end, I think I really liked the free ships I included. Um, the fourth ship would have would have been one that uh, people would have probably argued with anyway. <laughs> I will leave it at that. And I like how this, can I say I like how these drawings turned out, like, enough? Can I, can I stop saying that? <laughs> anyway, I love Danganronpa. Um, I'm very surprised so far that it has not made an appearance in my ABC series. Uh, that will change. <laughs> I know for a fact that I'm including at least two of the characters. You shall see which ones. <laughs> uh, I would like to include more Danganronpa on my channel because it's, like I said, uh, one of my favorite things, like, ever. Um, I would like to maybe include some Despair Emporium things, which is my comic. Um, by the way, link to my comic will be in the description. 
if you wanted to check it out. It's on Instagram, so you read it from the bottom up, like last post to first post. But I like how it's turning out. I'm recently going back to weekly updates because I was uh, on a hiatus for a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, in general, I love uh, Gundam and Sonya in general. Gundam is one of my favorite characters. I just love his energy. I love that he's an animal breeder. Uh, that sounds weird, but I love animals in general, so I love that he loves animals. And, you know, I just think this turned out very cute. And, oh my god, I said it again. Anyway. <laughs> Sonya and Gundam is definitely one of my top ships in Danganronpa. Um, I would say my top ship isn't even in this video. Um, I think my top ship is just Fuyuhiko and Pekko because those two are adorable. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite ship in Danganronpa? Also, thank you if you watched, like, all the way through this video, because, uh, this is a bit of a longer video for my channel. Um, let me know if you like the longer video, if you want to stick to videos that are around 10 minutes, but, um, I had a lot of drawings to put in this video, so it ended up being pretty long. <laughs> so, thank you if you stuck around this far, and, uh, stick around to the end, because you're almost there. <laughs> I will say the one thing about this drawing is that it turned out kind of dark, so it's a bit hard to see what's going on in some places, but I think I made up for that in the shading a bit, um, made some darker shading than I would have just to try to get some actual shading to show on some of the dark stuff and maybe make some stuff stand out. Um, <laughs> I will say on this background I had no idea what I was doing and it is the least, um, cutesy background. It's kind of, uh, uh, spooky. It's a bit purpley. <laughs> uh, and it kind of looks like it's glowing, and in that sense, I probably should have made the shading different, but, you know, that's for the next video. It was, it was kind of late, at least for that point in time. Um, I kind of flip-flop with my sleep schedule, by the way. I either stay up all night, or I have to go to bed at, like, 11, <laughs> and there is no in-between. I either stay up all night, and wake up at, like, 5 p.m. Or, or, like, wake up at 6 a.m. because I went to bed at 11 p.m. I need a better sleep schedule, and I need to stick to one of them so I can actually do stuff consistently. Anyway, <laughs> enough ranting about that. Back to ships. <laughs> anyway, that's the end. <laughs> Which one of these drawings was your favorite? And if you liked the video, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe um, share off a friend, or hit the like button. Or maybe, you know, leave a comment. <laughs> uh, I'm still learning what I'm doing, but I think that I'm doing good things. Um, I really like how this video turned out, and it was very fun to make. <laughs> See you in the next video. Peace!